Ohio gozai my shredheads. Today I wanted to try something a bit different and I want to try to learn Polyphia's goose in an hour. Uh, I'm not exactly sure I can do it because it's a very difficult song and there's a lot of different techniques that I'm really not good at at all such as uh, finger picking but I really wanted to try this out because honestly I just do not have a lot of time to even learn songs anymore nowadays between working full-time doing YouTube uh, practicing Japanese as well pra as practicing guitar it's very hard to find the time to <laughs> learn songs and I at least want to learn the main riff of this so the minimum goal I have for this is just to get the 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 gist of the main riff down and then I can add it into my practice regime but regardless we're gonna do an hour and I'm gonna see how much I can get out of this um, I'm using Beelzebub's cover of this song <laughs> Beelzebub S he does an excellent job check his uh, cover out check his channel out he's a great guitarist um, but I'm using his video and I'm going to slow it down and I'm just going to learn as much as I can. We're going to see if I can do this or not. Let's see how far I can make it in an hour. I got a timer over here with a jack-o'-lantern and I'm going to set my own timer because it's very hard to see this one. Uh, there we go. We got this timer set, that timer set. And I'm going to practice my little heart out and see how far I can get with this. It's all in standard tuning. The song is very technical. <laughs> uh, yeah, very, very technical. I'm going to have to definitely move this. We're going to have a lot of speed ups in this video. I'm going to speed this baby down here. Okay, here we go. The hard thing is they finger pick as well as hold the pick at the same time. I can do one or the other, but doing this weird hybrid method is strange for me. Also, uh, when it comes to practicing, I'm trying to be more ideal with my playing, more perfect, because I notice that when you play slow and perfect, it's way better than trying to speed things up and trying to get it uh, to be fast and sloppy, because that's what happens when you speed things up. But if you try to get everything down really well, perfect, with a good technique, uh, slowly you're going to make way faster progress than if you were doing it sloppy.
This chord selection right here where it goes from, <laughs> I think it's bar, the hell bar is this, uh, one, two, three, four, five, the fifth bar goes from uh, seven, five, seven to nine, seven, eight, it's kind of strange, because you have this shape here, you got this shape here, and then you move to this shape. Okay, we got the second part somewhat down. <laughs> Let's put the two together here.
Okay, that's the best I can do right now. <laughs> it's still very slow and strange to me. This is a bit... Okay, this section doesn't look as bad as the last section. basically picking with all the bottom four strings here and then doing uh, the finger picks with the first two up here and this allows me to give my pinky finger a nice anchoring point for the picking itself I'm not exactly sure if that's right but this is how I, I usually I usually will finger pick like this because I find it to be the most controlled method but we'll see how things fare as I go along
Okay, those are strummed. Let me see if that's picked too, the, the main part. Okay, he's picking the whole thing. sections I learn the more I have to keep reviewing them and reviewing them uh, we're getting the gist of the riff down uh, but this would take months this would take like weeks to months of practice to get down perfectly
That's a section I have to hear. Sometimes with tabs, you have to hear what it is. Go to the next section. Now this one's a bit strange sounding. Sounds cool though. He's using his finger now, his first finger. Uh. Yeah, I think he is using his first finger. I kind of have to fuse these two sections together to make it have sense in my brain. Um. strange tab here. That 
is so weird. <laughs> slow this down. This is a really strange section. Um, it sounds like just a slide, but it's, it's tabbed as if it's chords, but to me, it sounds more like a singular note thing. Um, but, you know, Polyphia, they probably did use chords because they just are crazy people. if it's like this where you I'm sliding off the two and then I play a three and five like an arpeggio and then it moves that sounds more right to me than doing a power chord like this uh, not a power chord but it's just a chord That would take a lot of practice to get to <laughs> Yeah, that sounds way more right to me. I think I'll stick with that. I think that's how you do it. It's going to take some practice. 16 minutes to go. Um, Okay, that's where we're at. Uh, let's start from the beginning here. Uh 
from the jam. God dang it. Uh, it's hard remembering all these. Okay, that's as far as we got. Let's keep moving on. <laughs> so, it probably would have been better if I just stuck to a certain section every single day um, because you really need to just get this stuff crammed into your muscle memory. But we're trying to get the gist of this riff down. And, they do some complicated stuff like it's it's so strange like how would you even approach writing this to me it sounds so alien on guitar like it sounds good like but it's so out there that's, but that's what I really like about Polyphia they're so out there Sounds uh, not right. Oh, I guess it is right. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing that section wrong every time I do it. I don't know why. Maybe I am. I guess I'm doing it right. I don't know. I that's what the tab says, so.
Okay, it goes into the main riff again. I think, I hope it is. Yeah, it's the main riff. Uh, okay, we have three minutes left. Okay, it's basically it repeats itself for except for the last section, which is strange. Okay, this is the last section, which is a uh, first part and then six nine sounds diminished here See what fingers he's using for this section. Um, it's hard to see. Um, Oops, I guess it's been an hour. One whole hour. <laughs> that one should uh, be coming off pretty soon. And I think we have pretty much the main riff of this song, the gist of it kind of down. The last section is still. find the best fingering for it. I wonder if he's sweeping here. It looks like he's picking. Okay, let's start from the top here. This is what I learned in an hour. Ha 
Alright, so now I'm ready to start. We'll start from the top here. Oh, it is that section. Okay, let's start from the top. So we're learning it now. You think I would retain this better? Because this is what I learned in an hour. <laughs> the fourth section. Why can I not remember anything I learned? I don't know. I think I have performance anxiety here. Got over that part. Bye. 
I'm just gonna stop there because uh, it's that's what I know. <laughs> I have the gist of the riff, which is the goal I wanted to have. Um, I'm gonna add this into my practice regime every day. I'm just gonna keep working on this until I get better at this. Uh, I just like to learn this riff to be honest. If I could learn the whole song that would be ridiculously amazing for me but it is such a, a climb to learn a song like this but it's, it's it really opens you up to new techniques and new ways of playing. I'd like to modernize my playing a bit more and try to get more into that uh, more into the modern guitar thing. Uh, there's a lot of cool things happening in modern guitar and you know what I like to follow the excitement and that's what I'm doing and Polyphia is one of those bands that are just they make guitar exciting again and uh, you might hear this riff in the future hopefully I'm playing it better than I am today but today was a fun thing to do in an hour <laughs> and if you like this video hit the subscribe button uh, if you like this type of video leave me a comment let me know if you liked it or not um, if so this might become a thing uh, I would like to learn more difficult songs like Dragon Force or Ing Ingve and trying to do stuff like this just so I have an outlet to really learn songs again because my guitar practice regime is almost entirely scales, licks, arpeggios, uh, chord progressions but when it comes to riffs like this like complicated riffs there it's almost there's almost too much time that needs focus on that stuff but when it comes to easy riffs yeah I can do easy riffs but when it comes to polyphia and like uh, dream theater and all this stuff like it has to be dedicated I have to dedicate myself to learning these kind of difficult techniques and riffs but thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much